here. Oh fuck, this is gonna be spicy. We'll start stream, let some folks jump in, and we'll get it going. Questions. Yeah, we'll be able to view it on yours. That way we can see how things are looking. Biggity. Biggity fucked. Let me make sure my phone's up. Turned on. Just showing them Bunk ass crack screen, but yeah. Yeah, it's alright. Alright, cool. Wait for some folks to jump in here because we just went live. Alright, sweet. And now we wait. We'll wait a second. I wish we had something to go. Psh, trying to think. Will help. No. Maybe the buzz will I've never help. seen anybody drunk on the show. Oh no, Dave Grohl. Dave Grohl's drunk on the Dave show? Dave Grohl got fucked up on the show. Oh shit, I didn't know that. He brought his own like whiskey and stuff to bring in. They, him and Sean, he got Sean Evans shots the whole time. Oh, like of his own whiskey yeah. that he or, made? Nah, I don't know about that, okay. but I think it was just Jack Daniels or something. Mm -hmm. But he got them both to get pretty drunk, like taking shots and stuff gotcha. every round. Like getting... Shit. What's up, Reddy? How you doing, man? All right. We'll wait, we'll leave, leave these puppies in here. We'll let the stream get started for a second before we start this. And I'm um, doing good. I'm glad, man. I'm glad. I'm very glad. How about you? I'm, hey, man, I can't complain. I appreciate you asking, bro. I appreciate you We're asking. We're about to. We're about to be... Um, Planning a lot. We'll see. What's up, Lunar? How you doing? What's up, True Biscuit? How you doing, buddy? Um, yeah, we're going to see. I'm already starting to dread this, and we haven't even started yet. So we will see how this shit goes. We really, really will see how this goes. So... Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of afraid. I'm, I'm a little nervous. I've got Tyler here with me. He bought the, the Hot Ones box. Go, go grab the box and let him see it. Go, let him see it. Let him see the box. Let him see the box. Um, oh, is this the Hot Sauce Challenge? Yo, what's up, Fuscas? How we doing, Crazy Cat Lady? What's happening? So Tyler bought this. Look at this shit. <laughs> Look at this box, dude. Careful around the eyes. It's heat mist. So you already know we're about to we're about to go to town on this shit, buddy. We're about to go to town, town, town. Um, what's up, Fuscas, Crazy Cat Lady, True Biscuit? Appreciate that. Um, oh, CJ, what's up, man? How you doing? It's going good. Appreciate you asking. You should get yourself some milk. We do have some milk. Um, we've got a cooler right to the left. We have some milk there, and um, we have some cups. Why don't we go ahead and get that out? Because <laughs> <laughs> nothing's better than warm milk. Yeah, right? nothing's better than warm milk. So why don't we go ahead and get just just pour us like a little cup of it. And then, um, good luck, boys. Too hot for me. I know, True Biscuit. We're going to see, man. This is, I, I'm, I'm going to assume this is going to be really hot, but we will see. So, I don't know. I've, I think that I'll be all right until about, you know, maybe, what, which, which one? Like, this one is when it gets super hot? Or, it, or Da Bomb? Is this Da Bomb right here? Yeah. So, I, th I think I'll be pretty good until, like, the one, two, three, four, five, six, like, the seventh one. I'll probably be good until about the seventh one. So... I think once we get around the seventh one is when I'm going to start feeling the heat. Um, see how close I can get this without being in the frame. Okay, that's perfect. Everybody can read the chat. Um, what up, broski? What's up, Daylon? How you doing? Um, yes, but we've like, got all the sauces laid out. We got some milk here just in case. Got some cold beer. Um, but we'll wait another minute or two. But what have you guys been doing? Sorry I haven't streamed in two weeks. You guys know how it is. Sometimes it just it just be like that, man. It just be like that. But Tyler, are you excited for today? Excited, lots of anticipation, and also... A little bit of nervousness, right? I'm kind of, yeah, nervous, but also I'm kind of... There's like 10% of my brain that's... Like, what if I crush this? Like, what if this is what awesome? If, and like, what if what if all those people on on YouTube were being little bitches, and this is actually this is actually not that bad for me, and I can right. be like one of those people that just walk through it, no big deal. Which I 
it's not going to be. Yeah, good. but I have a little bit of hope. Yeah, a little bit. Well, of you got to be confident, right? You got to yeah. be a little confident in there. Yeah. Um, do you remember me anyway? It's been a while since I've been to your live. True Biscuit, yeah, I remember you, bro. Um, fire incoming, yes. It's going to be shit fire incoming, that's for damn sure. <clears throat> but I've got a bunch of questions here. Um, so we're going to treat this as I'm Sean Evans, and Atterbury is going to be my celebrity. So I'll ask him some questions. Um, if he wants to ask me some questions, cool. We're going to keep the conversation really fluid and casual. Um, but we'll wait another minute or two, let some more folks jump in here, and then we'll get uh, things started. But I appreciate you guys being patient with me. No, I haven't streamed in a couple weeks. Um, been having the runs lately. There you go, True Biscuit. Um, nice. Well, I mean, have you gone to a doctor or shit? What kind of... Okay. Shig, shiggity, wig, wiggity, biggity, big day. Thank you so much, Mukbang, for the sub. I appreciate that. Thank you. How many months is that? 17 months. Shiggity's in the chat for Mukbang. Thank you so much. I appreciate that sub. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to have you out, Mukbang. We're about to put ourselves through it today. Shiggity's in the motherfucking chat for Mukbang. I, if you were here, I'd suck your dick, but you're not. Uh, so maybe next year. But I appreciate that. So that, that, that little sound bite is mm -hmm. one of my songs. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. okay. I'm start playing. I could tell. It was okay, you. I didn't know it was one of your songs, but I could tell it was you. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub. Um, we'll wait a minute. Uh, shit, fire and coming. So we got all the wings here. Tyler made these at home, fresh. He mm -hmm. went and cut the chicken down and plucked Thank it and everything. Leg by leg. Yeah, leg by leg, thigh by thigh. You know, I was watching the Cat Williams special the other day. I don't know if you've seen it. That's his new out. his new special, and he goes, "How the fuck did we have a wing shortage? There's two wings and two thighs." There wasn't a thigh shortage. It was yes. just a wing shortage. It shit made no sense when he said that. I was like, that actually makes a fucking lot of sense. Um, it'll pass, I think. The setup is lit. Thanks, Mukbang. So yeah, it's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a hot one, literally hot ones. So um, yeah, shit. I guess are you about ready to start? Yeah. You about ready to start? All right, you guys put a shiggity in the chat if you're ready to kick this shit off. Shiggity's in the chat. I want to see that chat just bloody red. So shiggity's in the chat. I'll put this over here. So I can read it a little better. Shiggity's in the chat if you guys are ready to. And I assume you've got your Sorry. questions, but we're going to take questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take, yeah. If, they, if the chat has questions, we're going to take questions from the chat. Um, but if they don't, then we'll just kind of keep it moving. Question number four might end up being a banger and just keep going and going and going with Ex chat questions. Exactly. And just roll with it. I'm okay. cool with that. Cool, so, gotcha. so great point. Let me, let me talk about that for a sec. So Tyler brought up a good point. If you guys do have a question chat while we're going through this, Feel free to interject at any time and be like, hey, I got a question. What, what, what about this or what about that? You guys can ask questions at any time. So I'm going to square up this frame just a little bit better, get it a little tighter on us, and then we're going to get this shit kicking, dude. All right, cool. Let's start with the first sauce. Tyler, will you tell us what this first sauce is, my man? It's supposed to be the easy one. The classic. Show the, show, the, show the camera. Classic. I'm really shaky, so you should probably start doing okay, this. Okay, okay, I'll do this. <laughs> so why don't you talk about this? This is the classic hot sauce, yeah. right? So this is going to be the first one. It, does it have Scoville's on here? Mm -hmm. Possibly. I would assume it's just like Tabasco basic, no, you know, just flavor, but no spot, no cake. Okay. Do we need to shake it before? Yeah. Okay. Pick your wing, buddy. <sighs> All right. Oh. Hey, what's up? All right, we're in here, chat. All right, this looks like hell. It's gonna be pretty bad. Oh, so you're going with the uh, going with the drum. Here, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the baby one first, just to make it easy on myself. We'll cover these bad boys back up. I'm gonna be a one bite person in all these though, because I can't eat ten wings. That's fair. So, and don't be a pussy. Food. Get it on there. Get uh, it I'm wet. Gonna, I'm gonna be sloppy with it on the get first couple, wet. and I'll get I'll get less and less sloppy as we go. <laughs> oh, this is kind of fucking suck. All right, this first one shouldn't be bad though. All right, cheers it, and then um, we're off to the races. Did you put some on there? Okay. I'm just taking a bite. I'm gonna okay. cover the All right. Thing. Cheers it. All, All right. right. Mm -hmm. That's it's, it's kind of like a little bit like Tabasco, shit like that. We'll start with the first question though. We're mm -hmm. gonna go straight into it to get deep. Right, if you could go, if you could go back to your childhood self and give yourself one bit of advice, what would you say and why? I have zero discipline. Mm -hmm. So, if I could go back and like, as a young kid and make myself sign up for some kind of program to where it's like mm -hmm. militaristic almost of like, wake up, do this, do this, and have any kind of discipline in the world. That's mine. I'm procrastinating, screwed up, cause so much stress and, and unnecessary. Mm -hmm. why, would you, why, would you say, why would you tell yourself that though? Of all things, why would it be that? I think it's the, all the other problems I've had. Mm -hmm. That's part of the root of every other problem I've caused for myself. It's like a discipline. Like um, a discipline. 
That makes sense. At work, my boss always told me, he was like, it took, a, after the first year or two, he was like, I finally figured you out. You're a sandbagger. <laughs> He's like, you're way smarter than everybody else here. You just don't try. Right. You, you're smarter than everybody else here at 70%. If you mm -hmm. just like really disciplined, tried, tried yeah. then you'd be crushing it. And you could do it. I'm like, yeah, I did just enough to get the promotion. He's like, I know. Oh, like, okay. do better. The SIT that I took, I studied zero. Right. And you still the, passed it. I skimmed the book the day before the test and then passed it, but... What, and and no, for the no, chat, no. what is the SIT test? Survey and training, so my profession is land surveying, and so, and so yeah, it was a licensing it. test, and right. I didn't study, and I'm still passing it. Which, which yeah. apparently is not, like, very popular. Like, a, a lot of people fail it. Right? Yeah, another guy I work with failed it six times before he passed it the seventh and right. stuff like that. And you but didn't it's study. a lot of math and shit like that that you can't just guess on. Right. So, but yeah, if I just tried ever at anything... <laughs> It, it would probably have changed my life a lot, a lot, a lot. It probably would have. A lot, a lot. And I have had none since first grade. That makes sense. So. Uh, with mukbang, we do have the milk here. Um, so solid. First wing wasn't mm. bad. I'm going to go ahead and say that one was like a, a one out of ten spice. I'm going to go ahead and give that a zero. That yeah, one zero. wasn't even, wasn't even spicy. Even ketchup. Yeah, yeah, seriously. It wasn't even spicy at all. And then I got one more question before we go to our next wing. Uh, if... If your favorite hobby was a job, what would it be? Carpentry. Car really? Why mm -hmm. carpentry though? I love it. Really? It's like amazing. I love it. Um, I, I had a house in Tyler and I set the whole garage up for it. Uh, my stepdad was a roofer and had a lot of tools and a roofing company. And when he passed away, uh, my mom got everything and had sold the company. Mm -hmm. And he had a stack of Home Depot gift cards that he would give crews. Mm -hmm. to, so he didn't have to give them cash and they could steal it and stuff. Right, right. So my mom was like, I don't need these here. And so I went and bought a bunch of tools, a bunch of random wood, and had everything put together. And, and I would go to the garage on Saturdays not doing anything. And I actually had discipline about it, I guess. It like inspired discipline without me having to think about it. And I'd go to the garage for like six hours and just, it was like meditation. I oh, just, just zone out, cut stuff, put stuff together, do everything, mm -hmm. stain it. And it was meditation, it was discipline, and all that without even trying. Yeah, you I really enjoyed it. that for a while. I love it. I love it. Do yeah, you still I would have, do that for free. Do you still have a lot of that gear, or did you have to get rid of it? I got rid of a lot of it, but I have the big main miter saw, circular saw, like all the big main stuff. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of that left, but I, my apartment has zero storage. Like, yeah, what was the best shit you built when you had it? <clears throat> There's these uh, planners that um, Pinterest had a lot of random ideas for things. There's this one planner I made for my sister after she got married and it's about four and a half feet tall, mm -hmm. about five feet wide. And her last name is now head. It starts with an H. <laughs> yeah. Your, his sister's last name is now head. 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 Yeah. So I made a giant four foot by five foot, um, planner. box based planner that on the inside has slats and then you plant flowers in each slit and across the H. And when the flowers grow, there's a wood stained outline to the flowers that grow in it. And oh, that's tight. Yeah. That's tight. It was really cool. All right. My All man right. said ketchup. Mukbang, yes. That shit, that first wing was nothing. That was a zero out of 10. All right, get your second wing and let's go ahead. I'm going to go with the flat on this one since I went with a, an actual drum on that one. So this next one is going to be Dawson's Hot Sauce Cedar Smoked Garlic. This one looks pretty flavorful, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, it looks like it's got some, um, some like oil in it and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Al fum. Uh, I can't even say it. So what's in this one? It's white wine, vinegar, habanero, garlic, onion, extra virgin, olive oil, sea salt, and sumac. Sumac, never heard of it, but we're gonna try it. All right, I'm gonna, and I'm going, I'm going, going kind of heavy on some of these because I really want to get the sauce. I really want to get the flavors. So we'll see how this one goes, chat. The first one though, wasn't spicy at all. I understand now why people can like hack it and handle it because it's really not that bad, so. Um, all right, we got a good little good little dollop on there. Cheers, and uh, mm -hmm. let's 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 head let's hit it. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a one. Yeah, that that's a one. That's a one. That one's really not that bad. All right, got another question for you. Right, right. growing up, I would assume you would have. Drummed as a profession for free, but now I don't know if that's the case. What would you do for free? If I had, if I could do something for free, I'd be a YouTuber. I would travel and vlog and like go to all the restaurants I go to. I, you know what I would love to do? I'd love to be able to partner with tons of restaurants and brands and all I do is go and shoot content, like enjoying their shit, yeah. enjoying their products. Like go to a restaurant and be like, 
have a cameraman in there, videographer, w watching me just with cats, eating food, talking about the food, giving reviews. I would love just being that. yourself. Being myself, I'd fucking love to do nice. that. Um, second question. If you had to go, if you had the choice to go into the past and meet someone from your past or go into the future and meet your grandkids, which would you choose and why? Past. Why? Miss you two weekly split. I have, uh, I don't have any anxiety about things that I won't be able to say to, to grandkids because it's just the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Um, I have way more stress and anxiety about things I should have said, didn't say, said wrong, mm -hmm. uh, to people I had a chance to say it to already. Mm -hmm. so, so you'd rather go back in the past? Yeah. That's interesting, because I, I actually figured you would want to go into the future mm -hmm. and meet your grandkids and see the legacy that you've built. See, personally, mm -hmm. I would want to go into the future because the past is the past for a reason and the past made my present, and I like my mm -hmm. present, so I'd like to go into the future and just see what I've done and see if I've achieved as much as I could have. And if I didn't, I'd really put my ass into gear now. Okay. I have it in my head that creating a future is enough of an achievement. Um, whatever they, it's a roll of the dice, whatever they turn out to be, mm -hmm. it's not up to me. Right. Let it go. Let it ride. I'm not worried about that. If I have kids, to be able to do that, I'm excited enough. Right. Chat, which um, one would you do? Would you go back into the past and meet and like tell yourself or meet someone from your past or would you rather go into the future and see like the, the legacy you've built? Which one would you want to do? Um, here's a good one. So since you want to go back into the past, if if you could go back to the past and change change like one choice that you made, what would it be and why? One just overall choice. Just one overall choice of like, man, I shouldn't have I should have done this one thing different. It would have been really beneficial for me now, or something like that. So one specific moment, not like one aspect of myself. One specific one specific moment. moment. So I'll read it again. If you could go back into the yeah. past and change one choice, <clears throat> what would it be and why? One choice. Who there was a night I got behind the wheel drinking that. <laughs> shouldn't have done that yeah I, that's fair I'll piggyback on that nobody got hurt but nobody got hurt shouldn't but have done that I shouldn't have got into a vehicle intoxicated yeah, yeah. there was other options and I picked that one and that was a bad idea don't do that guys. what bit don't of advice that. would you have given yourself um we I was so worried I think we both were so worried about um about this certain scenario because I know we talked about yeah that but even in that certain scenario advice like we were so worried about Doing things like, you know, you're 18, 19, 20, whatever you are. Yeah. You're still so concerned with how other, how cool other people think you are. Mm -hmm. I'm not good enough. How do I position myself to seem like I fit in through all that stuff? Dude, who gives a shit? Yeah, yeah, seriously. Who cares? The cool people saying? aren't people that worry about that. The cool That's people true. are the people who's like, hey, this is me and I'm here, so deal with it. Mm -hmm. So here's a question to Lunar. All right, mm -hmm. here we go. I'll answer this one and you can answer it. Would you rather have $6 million right now or flip a coin for a billion dollars? I'm gonna go with the six million right now. Yeah. And here's why. If I flipped that coin for a billion and didn't get it, I would wanna I'd wanna go to a very dark place. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the same advice I heard somebody from an investment firm on a podcast give about investing. Um, whenever somebody asked him like how how do you know what to invest, when to invest and all that. And he was like, Well, once you actually start investing, that's the risk. But yeah. before you start investing, you gotta know like what, how much money you're gonna put in is if I lose this, will it destroy my life? Then don't invest it. Yeah, 100%. Um, if, I, if I invest this and it goes to zero and you're like, oh, well, like, kind of like gambling. Well, well, I gave it a shot. Yeah. And you can walk away and be fine. Then go for it. Um, and I think the idea of, and he's like, he was basically asking which one hurts more. Right. The idea of losing a guaranteed six million would hurt more. Yes. Then... A chance, it, 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 yeah, yeah. That would it would hurt too much to get to end up with zero when you guaranteed six. Six, yes. And I don't need a billion dollars. No, who need like, who I, needs that much? Money? Six million. I'm, dude. I'm, I'm good. I'm seriously, happy. No, no, I don't need that. I'm happy right now. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, so. seriously, six million. I'd be super happy with that. Yeah. We could split. Or what would you guys pick? Six million or a billion? And then. Um, Past, what if once we got back to the past, you can't come back to the present like strings attached? True Biscuit, that would change the whole thing. I would never go back to the past because yeah. I believe in the butterfly effect. Sup, Lunar Baby? Mm -hmm. Sup, Cowboy Einstein? How you doing? All right. Put a one in the chat if you're ready for the next wing. One in the mm -hmm. chat if you're ready for the next wing. How are you feeling so far? Perfect. The mouth has got a little bit of spice, but the it's nothing. The most light, latent spice Yeah, possible. it's it's, yeah. it's in the back of the throat. It's really chill. Like, I could eat 10 of those. Now, what I, I'm not really a huge fan You could fan dump of that flavor. on... Anything, yeah, and be totally fine eating. Like so far, yeah. it was good. All right, seen a bunch of ones. All right, but it, it actually did taste good. So the first two, the flavor was actually good, and I no, that was actually, actually a solid eating. ass wing. 
Um, the past, but once you get to the past, you can't come back to the present. Yeah, that's see, that's the that's the scary part. All right, and for our next one, we have. I want some guarantees before I go back to the past. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously, Clark and Hopkins, and this is chili, sun-dried tomatoes, garlic, Calabria, Calabria, and this one looks um, a little more serious. So it's got like a little Caesar, a little bit too brute on it. Uh, no, you're good, True Biscuit. Don't even trip, bro. So is this one got the little open mouth? Oh, you hear it? All right, let's see. None here. of them have the little butthole on it. No, yeah, the first one had a little butthole on it. All right. Put a, put a good little dollop. So, just, a, just a heads up going forward. Levi's putting way more on it than I'm going to, but <laughs> I promise I'll still, I'll still get some, and it'll hurt, and it'll do all that, but... Yeah, see, that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I'm doing a little lime instead of just a fucking water. No, you're, dude, you're good. Cheers it, and then we down the hatch, this bad boy. Can't. No, you're good. Shit, we're not we're not strapped on time. We got the wet ones. We got everything on deck. Cheers. Okay. 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 A little more spice on that one. Um, all right, got a question for you. If you had to sum up your childhood in three words, what would they be? Does, it doesn't have the three words. You don't have to make sense in a row. It's no, just no, no. Three just three words. words, three adjectives, or three verbs, or whatever, whatever you think. Three words to sum up your childhood. Oh, this can get depressing. But I'll go I want for, it. I'll I go want, for it. Want the real answer? Keep it real. All right. Don't we all um, have holes? Yes, we do. Furnished. <laughs> Furnished. That is. That is. A, <laughs> That is not something I thought you were going to say. Well, that's the, that's the most concise way I could say everything provided for me. I had no <laughs> needs or wants or any of that, like, furnished. financially. So furnished, anxious, and alone. Wow. That's really real, though. No. Let me... Everything I needed, and I wanted for nothing. Food, things, toys, video games, nothing. Mm -hmm. I, I had everything a kid could ever possibly beg and whine and complain for. So I was a spoiled brat. But I was playing with all that stuff by myself, and I didn't. I was always anxious about everything because I didn't have any yeah, outside confirmation of anything. Yeah. yeah. So interesting. Chat. Does anybody resonate with that? Um, so let me let me give any my other three. spoiled brats out there. Yeah. Any other spoiled brats out there? <laughs> so let me give my three. My three would be um, poor, uh, loved, and active. So I was very poor, but Real I was opposite. very loved. Yeah, I was super <laughs> active. I was always doing something. I always right. had something to do. My mom always had me in something. So um, no, it was like I had I had a very very active childhood. It was actually really great. Um, cool. All right, next question. We won't get depressing. Yeah, we won't get we won't get too uh, wet. <laughs> um, okay, you can travel anywhere. Where do you go, and who do you take? Hmm. Travel anywhere. Chat, this question's for you guys too. You can travel anywhere. Where would you go? If there is if there's any guarantees about like the flight's gonna go smooth, you're not gonna get malaria. You're gonna get there, nothing's gonna happen, you're gonna enjoy You're gonna it. have an enjoyable trip all the way through um, Amazon, man. But that's the whole point of the Amazon is everybody who really goes deep into it gets right. sick. The, the their back goes out. This happens. They get seventeen different diseases. Right. If you could take all that away, then the Amazon would guaranteed be number. That would be amazing. Really? If you had a protective bubble around you and you could experience that, yeah. yeah who would you take awesome. them? Oh, I'd take who like the girl I'm talking to right now. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's have a fun. I mean, that would be cool. I mean, why not? I mean, I can't cuddle you, so yeah, I would. I mean, take, I can, but we don't. I would so. take Cass. I'm yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> whatever, whatever romantically is happening at the time, yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's do that. All right, chat, sum up your childhood in three words. And the next question I have for you guys is the same thing. Where would you go? Who would you take? So sum your child up in, childhood up in three words. All right, let's see here. Um, I think we kind of already talked about that one, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that. And then this is kind of also a deep one before we get into the, the kind of maybe, I guess, sillier ones. But what would you what would you, what would you consider your life motto? Like, what's your life motto? Mm. Is there anything you wake up every day and you have, like, a mantra or anything? I don't know how to make it sound cool. I have an idea, but I don't know how to make it sound cool. Don't make it sound cool. Just say it. Just say what it is. The cheesiest possible way to put it, which is like 
something 60 year old to say from like, I don't know, some black and white show that mm -hmm. you hear is- Frankly, my dear, I just don't give a damn. Is the, yeah, exactly. Frankly, <laughs> <laughs> my Yeah. Um, would be uh, que sera, sera. What is that? What will be, will be. That's solid. Or something like that. I, I'm probably getting it wrong, but something like that. Like, all because I grew up with so much anxiety, so many things that I spent a year being anxious about that ended up working out or not working out, and it was okay that it didn't work out. It's yeah. like, why'd you waste a year being worried about it? Seriously, though. So just, hey, do your best and let it happen. And if you're happy, it doesn't matter what situation you're in. Yeah. It's going to be okay. Be happy. Man. That's so be true, happy bro. with yourself. So that's a cheesy way to put that idea, but yeah. Sarah, Sarah. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. I might be mistranslating. It, it kind of reminds me of like it is what it is. Yeah. You know. But I have. <laughs> there are a lot of people use it is what it is to to justify shitty things that they yeah. like. They're being a shitty person. Like I mean, yeah, I know I stole your PlayStation from you, but you know it is what it is. You don't have to just like no, yeah. not like that. Just anxiety. It's anxiety focused. You okay. can be worried about every, fifty thousand things on a daily basis, mm -hmm. and instead just do the best you can and see what happens. So. I like it. I like it. Uh, Hawaii, and I take Selena Gomez or my favorite adult actress <laughs> who's retired, Carly Banks. <laughs> I'm sure Carly Banks um, would love to go with you. Oh, no, if we're taking too. celebrity, uh, Kate Beckinsale, Allison Brie, any pale white girl. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's my. That's any my, pale white girl. That's, that's, that's kind of. Mine would have been be my thing, Angelina yeah. Jolie in like the early 2000s okay. before she looked like a crackhead. Yeah, that before the, the, the inner tube. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, that yeah. shit. I would have, yeah. yeah. All right, chat, put a two in the chat if you're ready for this next wing. Two in the chat, two in the chat, two in the chat. Ooh, I need to get another beer. Pause for a cause. Go for it. Let me get a beer. What'd you bring today? Dos Equis? Dos Equis. Dos Equis. Damn, this zipper is industrial. Yeah, we're gonna have to leave it open because that's too much. <laughs> that's too, they, too much. It, the, the cooler came with a little giant pack, or I said a little giant, a big packet of grease that you like reseal to like over time you're supposed to keep putting grease on the zipper so it doesn't really? lock up yeah wow. it's too much that's too much that is too much that's too much twos i'm seeing the twos all right inner two tips all right atterbury what is the next sauce that we're getting to if you would please grab it and oh. i'll show it to the chat the phoenix the phoenix Hopefully this one will actually get start getting a little spicy. The last one. Oh really shit! You're hoping it. for it now. Shit, not me. Yeah. Right, oh no! Phoenix. It would be nice for it to for <laughs> long as long as possible. But up to this point, it hasn't been anything so to this worry is, about at all. Yeah, it hasn't been. Angry Goat Pepper Co. The Phoenix Cantaloupe Melon and Scotch Bonnet. There we go. Scotch That's bonnet. a real pepper. All right. Yeah. Here we go. So do you know about Carly Banks? No true biscuit, but I will tonight. <laughs> <laughs> there will be an unfiltered Google search tonight. Yes. 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 My, my girl does not know my phone password for a reason. All right. Yeah, this one looks... Oh, shit. I put a little much on there. Fuck it. Ooh, that scotch bonnet. A little uh, box your scone it there. A little phoenix on there. Um, all right. Here we go. Is that acceptable? That's plenty. Yeah, as long as you get it all. It, it's a damn, big glob. It damn near looks like, like cat food. I don't know. <laughs> a little bit like vomit. Yeah, a little bit yeah. like vomit. Cheers. Bad. No, it's really not that bad. One out of ten. That I'm gonna give that a three, maybe even a two. Two wasn't that spicy. Two, like if you go to a Thai restaurant and you have the five chilies next to it, that would be mm -hmm. one and a half to two. Uh, bread smacker, do the bottles say they're Scoville units? I don't think they do, but let's look it up. Well, yeah, we could Google it, but I don't know. you're using my phone for the chat, so I don't know if we can look it up, but. You guys may be able to chat, uh, like look it, look it up just because I'm using his phone as Yeah, chat. someone can help us out, but... But like, as I show him, Brady, maybe you can do it a It doesn't have search. Scoville units, but it says medium, four out of 10. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, the tip of the tongue now. It gets spicier after the fact, okay. Yeah. While you're eating it, not spicy. Okay, I'm gonna give that one a three now. Yeah, yeah it just moved up the list. Yeah. It says four out of 10 on the bottle, and I, I agree. Yeah. Four out of 10. Actually. Yeah, my tongue's up. my tongue's kind of cooking. It's hurting now. It didn't yeah. hurt earlier. Ooh, what's up, baby cakes? Just went on Amazon and bought me a can cooler too. Hell, dude, I'm telling you, these are where it's at, bro. I'm telling you, these are where it's at. You got nothing to hide, no passcode, raccoon, man. You're brave. Now my girl knows my passcode. Oh shit! Once you start breathing and talking more, yeah, it keeps it builds. <laughs> All right, now we're now we're into it. This is actually yeah, we're actually now. get into it. I'll look them up as we go. All right, cool. I'm gonna do a couple rapid fire questions, mm. and it's just gonna be a this or that knee jerk. Yeah, knee jerk. Oh, 
Don't all run right. through all of them. Oh, I won't run through all of them. I'm only going to do two or three. Um, deaf or blind? <sighs> Fuck. Deaf. Rapid fire. Deaf. deaf. Okay, blunt or bomb? Blunt. Super tall or super short? Super tall. Tacos or burritos? Burrito. Pizza or burger? Pizza. Adidas or Nike? Nike. iPhone or Android? iPhone. Fuck. Really? Get out of here. Get okay, out here. fair enough. I, 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 I'm, I'm team iPhone as well. Get out of here. All right, let's get into it. Now I feel like the, that one burned. It's heating up. That one burned at the end. All right. All right, that was a rapid fire round. Now it's starting to actually happen. All, All right, right, let's get this next sauce Ooh. out. Ooh. And then uh, once you get your next one, once you take a bite, I'm going to ask you this next question. So go mm -hmm. ahead, get you a wing. All right, here is the next sauce chat. This is the hot ones. This is the hot ones. It's the Los Calientes, I believe. Los Calientes hot sauce by Heatnest. So, Breddy, I don't know if you want to look that one up. Whew. Make my own hot sauce like professional label and bottle. Can I send you a bottle? Easy Kappa would love that. Would love that, my man. We that need, would be awesome. We need a, um, we need a damn, I need a P.O. box so bad. Yeah, uh, you don't want to be giving out the address. Deaf for sure, blind. Um, tacos are the best. Chat, super tall or super short? Let me ask you that. Uh, let me shake this up one more time. One more time. Here we go. Uh, giving up vision would just seem... Uh. It's called Inferno Prison. Uh, Jesus fuck. That sounds brutal. All right, and I'm not being squeamish. Oh my God, there's chunks of chilies in this one. Okay. So this one's 36,000 Scovilles. So what that's. Was, I mean, not, not to put somebody to work. What was the last one? I don't, I don't know how to. Okay. Uh, I here, don't know how to compare. Let Brady do it. He's he's the best. So this one's called Angry Goat Pepper Co. The Phoenix Cantaloupe Melon and Scotch Bonnet. So I'll just let, so we can have a reference for all this. I'll let I'll let Brady look at this one for a second. Maybe if or if CJ's in here, maybe he can look it up as well. But that's what it looks like. So thirty six thousand. Just to give you some reference, uh, a jalapeno pepper has six thousand Scovilles. All right. All right. Cheers. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're in it. That one's banging the snow. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. That one when it hit the tongue. Yeah, that one was. I'm assuming here in about ten seconds, it's going to get a lot worse. Yeah. Uh, I'd put mine at around one million Scovilles. Has Carolina Reaper, Chocolate Scorpion, and Devil Tongue. Oh my God, Easy Kappa. Jesus crap. Whew. All right. All right, here's my next question. What time I actually you... changed my mind. I don't want none of that shit. <laughs> I don't, don't send it. I yeah, don't don't, it. yeah, keep it. Keep it. <laughs> um, uh, what time of the day is your favorite time of the day? Are you a morning, afternoon, night person? What do you like? Afternoon. Hmm. Why is that? I'm the, I'm, I haven't eaten breakfast in like 12 years. Damn, I'm really? not a morning person. I will, I will skip breakfast to get... 30 more minutes of sleep. Okay. So you um, really like the afternoon. You don't even fucking care about breakfast. No. And then at night, um, there's less There's less options, things, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Middle of the day, afternoon. Middle of the day? Yeah, if I could have a day off, that would be the time I'd enjoy the most. Damn. <sighs> Shit. It's a weird time to pick because most people are either morning or night, but I... See, morning time is my absolute favorite, man. Really? I love the morning time. I absolutely love the morning time. I had to eat and chat. I want you to answer that this one. That wasn't bad. Wait, wait, sorry. What? The last one had that 10 minute, or 10 minute. It was a couple minutes. Had a, had a couple minute linger on it and mm -hmm. then it started burning. That one wasn't. That this one was wasn't not as bad. bad. By yeah, maybe we flipped it. <laughs> it was worse at the initial. Oh, yeah, you're but right. But swallowing that wasn't, first tongue drop, yeah. wasn't, as, wasn't really no. near as bad. Um, Dude, honestly, I'm getting, I'm, I'm kind of surprised at how easy I've gotten through this many. We've gotten through the first half. Okay, that's true. We're at the halfway point and. It really wasn't terrible. Well, that, that one, bad. so the one before that, uh, that one was 39K. The one okay. before that was 36K. 30, so 36, then 39. So we, so we got those mixed up. So oh, we, okay. did, <laughs> we did the 39, then the 36. That's why we're like, oh, it's not, uh, really not nearly as bad. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's a big 3,000 apparently because the, la the that other one burned more. So yeah. I guess now we're getting into the 40s, angry, 50s. We're probably getting into the 40s and 50s now. So the angry goat was actually hotter. Mm. That's So that's gotcha. the question we ate. The phoenix one is the angry goat. Um, Yes. Did you get the bomb? We do have the bomb. So easy Kappa, show them. We got the bomb. It's right there, baby. That's going to be the bad one. Yeah, I'm that one sure. won't be fun at all. But no, up to this point, it's totally manageable. It's not a big deal. Not bad. Yeah, we got it. We got it. All right, cool. Let's go on to the next one then. All right. 
We I'm got trying to clean up the plate too, so we don't cross contaminate. Oh sauces. yeah, you're right. You're right. You got it. That's it. That's and a uh, trash bag. Trash bag. Thank you. Keep it out of camp. That's why we brought. Good yeah, yeah, good production. God, the production value here is fucking <laughs> insane. God, this production. Value. All right. Sub, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. You are the fucking man. Thank you, dog. Thank you, bro. I don't know if you've ever subbed, so I appreciate that. Finally got his Dragon Ball. If you guys haven't subbed, please do. You get a Dragon Ball. Once you get 12 months, you get a fucking dragon. We got Frieza, Cell. We got all the shit. It's all Dragon Ball themed, so fucking thank you so much, Easy Cap. I appreciate that. All right. On to the next. So then <laughs> Okay, this is the Queen Majesty Cocoa Ghost Hot Sauce. It's got a little white tiger on it. This one looks... My hot. assumption is, is this where it starts hurting. Why are this they so dark? Why is this one so dark? I don't know. Um, so, Breddy, if you want to look this one up, I would appreciate it. This one looks very, very spicy, though. All right, I'm going to shake it up. Give it a good shake a lake. Ricky Bobby. Why does the dark one scare you more, Levi? <laughs> what up. personal problems do you have? That is fucked <laughs> Tyler, that is fucked up. That has some validity, but that's fucked up. Oh man. Okay, I'm I'm being a little oh, more. Man. Oh man. I'm being a little more. Yeah, I gotta get one. Uh, this one is seventy-one thousand. So we just that's a big jump. We just doubled what that's we were doing. Yeah. Okay, we're doubling. Yeah, this one's gonna suck. Pop. This one's gonna suck. Oh. I mean, just... You got enough to hot sauce good. to drink Caesars all summer long? Hell, you ain't fucking lying, Easy Cap. But you ain't lying. Get it on Ooh. there, buddy. Get it on there, buddy. Yeah, we get the wings set up right so it'll stick on there. Ooh. And see, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't skimp. I put a little. You know, I, I like getting the numbers because now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm putting it on there. It's a bite, but I'm not gonna. Yeah. You're going hard. All right. I'm, I'm trying to really get in there. My heart's starting to beat a little faster now. Ooh, getting a little getting anxious. Real excited. All right. Cheers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's got some like um cocoa flavor to it. It's good. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's I wouldn't put it on everything. Mm. It seems like it's made for a specific food. Mm hmm But it's good. Definitely No pain yet. No pain yet. I assume it's on the way. Yeah, I I very much so assume that it's it's coming. Alright, let me ask you this. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Ooh. Did it hit? Mine hasn't hit yet. Mine just hit. Mine hasn't hit yet. Oh no, now I'm in the, like, the three second countdown before it goes. Mine right. just hit. Ooh. One meal for the rest of my life. One meal for the rest of your life. What would it be? And why? I mean, and this is broad, but mm -hmm. sushi. Sushi's a good one. I feel like mine would be um, like, um, what is it called? Uh, uh, bit and bap. Sorts of vegetables, rice and meat. Or, get a bul or like a bulgogi or something yeah, like that. Yeah, there's no veggies in sushi, so you'd kind of die, yeah. I assume. And you mercury would. poisoning. Yeah, you get mercury um, poisoning. So that's a bad sure. choice to survive off of. But flavor-wise, I'd pick sushi. To survive oh, yeah. off of, it'd have to be something else. But. I would love to eat sushi every day. Let's, let's fucking be real. All right, let's get into the nerdy shit. What is your favorite movie of all time and why? <sighs> so, one movie that I've watched the most, and it, I know it's good, but... Man on Fire. Who is that? Is that Denzel? Denzel, Dakota Fanning. Oh yeah, that's the one where she's the little girl uh, and, and she and... gets kidnapped. It's such a good fucking movie. Really? Oh, See, Cast man, with so good. is a great movie, but I've never seen I've it. I've watched it like 12 times. It's so good. It's not at, like, it's not in the top 10 like greatest movies of all time or anything, even though it is really good. Mm -hmm. Man on Fire is so good. Um, action kind of mm -hmm. comedy. I don't know. That's but, good. Yeah. No, that's solid. Yeah, Man on Fire is... I love it. Really? Mine would be There Will Be Blood. Uh, dude, you, uh, but you couldn't... Kind of like the... What food would you like? That amazing steak you buy by the ounce that the fat melts when it hits your right. tongue. Okay? Because it's so rich. If you eat it every day... Yeah, true. It's too much. Man on Fire is like that. Like, if you watch it every day, you're like, oh, this is so heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, a little too heavy. There Will Be Blood is kind of heavy, too. Wait, was it... Which one would you keep watching or which one is your favorite? Uh, favorite movie of all time. Or, Man on Fire? No, no, uh... There will be blood. Great movie. Great choice. Yeah. yeah. I thought you had to like rewatch it in this no, scenario no, no. or something. No. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, I think Reuben Rice sandwiches would be a nice food for forever, regardless. You get used to it and start to hate it. Yeah. I, Brady, I completely agree. No matter what it is. If we're going off sustenance, like you actually literally had to eat it and yeah. not get mercury poisoning from sushi, um, <laughs> any kind of sandwich that has everything on it, that's, that's got to be the choice. Turkey and, or a BLT <clears throat> or some shit. No, you eat too much bacon. You'll be fat as fuck. But you'll be. 
You'll survive. Like, yeah, you'll be all right. Yeah, you'll yeah. be all right. You'll just yeah. have fucking probably high cholesterol and shit. <laughs> Go walk your dog, True Biscuit. No worries. Uh, no worries. What's your favorite video game of all time? Red Dead Redemption 2. Really? Yeah. I thought it was gonna be Age of Empires, bro. You've been no. playing this. Oh, oh shit! You're <laughs> you right. go back to that one. Don't I count. quit RDR? I keep playing Age. I've played Age of Empires from I'm about to turn eighth grade and put in hours every year. The evidence would show Age of Empires, but I while I'm playing, I'm more happy to play Red Dead. Red Dead. Yeah. How far along are you now, dude? I've never beat the game. I know, but like, have you been playing it? No, well, I had to get an external hard drive because of Call of Duty, blah, 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 all that stuff. Blah, blah, yeah. um, I never go all the way and finish it because I don't want it to end. So I get close to the end and then I just Stop delete playing. it and I start over again. Oh. Because I don't, I don't want to finish it. Jesus Christ. So I've restarted Red Dead probably 12 times. Muckbang, you gotta play the game, dude. It's so good. Well, let me ask you this. Did you finally get your PS4 updated? Yes, last night I got the I got everything updated. This eight hour update, so I could finally get back on COD. Thank so. God! I don't even yeah. want to win on COD. I just want to play. With it. It's fucking amazing. Red right. Dead. I would say my favorite game of all time would probably have to be. Uh, <clears throat> I would say, this may sound fucking weird, but Halo. Just because yeah. I played it for like seven years straight. And There's nostalgia I, attached to dude, it. Dude, so much nostalgia. And next, and this is gonna sound weird because I've never really talked about it, but it would probably be Skyrim. Never played it. I really, it's like Red Dead. It just, it literally never ends. You can get as strong as you want. You can do as much as you mm. want. You know I do I mean? want to throw one more game out there. Mm -hmm. Two. Mm -hmm. To where I had to stop. Of course, like it was yourself. heroin. Yeah. Like it was a drug addiction. I was two for uh, probably six months. And uh, really? Uh, so what was what was so addictive? Frustrating. It was you die at every turn. Like okay, simple thing. You're starting to decide to get. I'm talking about first 30 seconds of the game. Yeah. You have to walk across this plank to get to something to just pick up a little thing to show you how to play the game. Like this is how you jump. This mm -hmm. is how you do this. And you're walking across the plank and you're going straight. And but if you if your thing, like one little side step to the left, you fall off and die and start over. So it's if you've never played a video game before and you're trying to just get started to learn how to play the game, you've died 15 times. And <laughs> that's and, so uh, frustrating. And people who've played are probably like, "Oh, noob!" Like, oh, no, that, that's I'm saying from a noob's perspective. Yeah. If you just jump into that game, you'll die 15 times before you even hit the little glowy light up ball things to show you what buttons to push. And when you go through that, um, there is no like in Mario or some other random game. There's a little like, okay, the trail only goes this way. Yeah, so it's like linear. I have to go straight because that's, that's where the game is going. Yeah. On this, it's open world. You can run anywhere on the map. You have it doesn't guide you anywhere. It doesn't tell you anything of what you're supposed to do next. How you op unlock things. Hey, they just drop you in and say, figure it out. Damn. And I love that slow thing up against walls on a cliff, pressing X. Like, will this open? Will this, does this tree mean something? And you yeah. go to every tree. Like, does this open? Does this open? Does this open? Uh, and nothing does. And you sit there for six hours. Just what do I do next? And you have no that idea. That sounds so frustrating. Okay. It's so frustrating. I love it. And it, it caught me and I was obsessed with it. So that would be my favorite game if it didn't ruin my life. That sounds Sorry. like video game. That was really a long like, rant. Sorry, really guys. Is. No, you're good. You're good. Uh, friend that does that, he won't finish games because he doesn't want them to end. Mukbang. Yeah. Okay. So um, thanks for the breakdown, Raccoon, of the Scoville units. Sweet. So That's the awesome. Scorpions adding about 30. So this 000. is sad. It really wasn't that, it wasn't bad. that bad. I think the Coke. Uh, the next one, the Hyde Scorpion, should be five. The Pug Green should be around 700,000. All right. Not bad, but I'm also like wiping my nose. Today, keep buffering mine too. It's no, it's your screen. Uh, I was trying. Is something else running? Or, or if somebody calls me, um, says transmission is unstable due to weak network connection. Uh, the building might be blocking it. Yeah, the building might be blocking it. Let's see here. Let's see, chat. <laughs> One sec. I just saw the big lag on it. Yeah, connection is whack. Thanks for the hot sauce list. Better now though. Put it back on 720. I can't live like this. Oh no, it just crashed. Did somebody say that? No, I'm just saying. Like, oh, okay, okay. Like, it's getting worse and worse and worse. All it's right. not good. It looks like it's okay. It's a little grainy. Let right when just... you stood up, it locked up for like 10 okay. seconds. Okay, we're back. It looks okay to me on my end. It's... Now it's frozen. Like, I know there's a lag on this, but it, it does keep freezing whenever you go. Oh, okay. Chat, let me know if it's super terrible. I can restart the stream. I'm starting to sweat. Yeah. I don't know about you. I'm starting to sweat. I'm not sweating yet. Um, chat, how is it looking now? Did you change something? The list auto wrapped and it didn't add spaces when it was pasted. Uh, oh, no, the Scovilles for the Angry Scorpions, 109,000. It looks good to me now. 
Yeah, things look fine. It may just it may just shit out every once in a while, but if you see it freeze, say something. Chat, let me know. All right, we cool. can move over to the bar top. Yeah, we can get we closer can... to a window and shit. Actually, like that. that might be a good. Let's try that. Let's yeah. do that. Let's move over here. All right, we're adjusting. And let's go this side. Nice, good idea, Tyler. Closer to a window. Closer to a window. Very smart. Very smart. It's doing better now. All right. Sweet. 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 That's my problem. Yep. Such stable lens. Yeah, buddy. We got the uh, got the the DJI Osmo too. Stabilizer. Yeah, bring the trash bag. I haven't needed the milk yet, to be real. No, me neither. I haven't needed the milk. Uh, we're by a window now, chat, so it should be a lot better. Hopefully we'll get a better connection. Yeah, I think it should be, though. All right, here we go. I just don't know what it looks like. And these chairs are actually a lot more comfortable, too. Are we in the frame? Uh, check it out. Here, make yep. sure, we're, set make up sure here. we're in the frame. Look at Atterbury. He's a pro gamer now, dude. Yeah, man. All right, that looks a lot better to me, chat. Tell me though, y'all y'all let me know. That looks like it's not doing near as bad. Um, is voltage in here? Yo, what did you miss, voltage? All right, we are not done yet. We still have some to go, but voltage, if you're just now joining us, it's good to have you out, my man. We are doing the Hot Ones Challenge here. We've got wings. Um, we are going through some questions and we were just kind of talking about video games and stuff like that. Put a one in the chat if the connection is back to good. One in the chat if the connection is solid again. We haven't really hit one yet that was unbearable and terribly spicy, so. Yes. Um, okay. Anybody that, and now whenever I watch the YouTube videos and anybody complains up to this point, yeah. you know they have no tolerance whatsoever mm -hmm. because this hasn't been that bad. No, it hasn't been that bad. One's in the chat. One's in the chat if we're good and we'll go on to the next one. One's in the chat. I won't move until we get to the ones because I want to know that you guys are hearing me. I can see it on my end, but I want to make sure that uh, there is a little bit of lag too, as you can see. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. every right. time it froze earlier, it was when you got up to check it out, and then it would freeze, and then you'd sit back down, and it was good. Yeah, that's so weird. I don't, I don't understand that. I don't know. It is, it is what it is. Um, we'll wait, chat. All right, but in the meantime, let's grab another wing. I'll grab a flat this time. Um, oh, okay. Oh, God, I forgot to scroll down. Looks good so far. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, guys. Uh, thanks for everybody being here. I appreciate that. If you guys are enjoying the content, do not forget to uh, follow. Don't forget to subscribe. I got my buddy Atterbury here. We're going to keep going through this challenge here. Feed each other. I don't think we're going to do that. All right, here's the next one. This is 13. <laughs> cross yeah, arms. Like cross arms. Yeah, we'll do that on the last one. On the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, you know what? Who said that? Who said feed? Um, I need that shirt, son. Voltage, you can get this on my um, on the Teespring. If you go to the link, or if you go to my About Me section in, in the Twitch, you will see my um, my link for the for the merch. And this is the Big Bets Boy. This is the Balenciaga playoff here. Uh, you seen Gary lose his stream in the water? No, I didn't, but what an idiot. <laughs> um, let's see here. Looking good. Up next is the 109,000 Scoville sauce. All right. Sweet. Um, Big Bets Boy. Oh, shit, there was somebody else that said something. He's questioning his friends. Okay. All right, here we go. This next one is 13 Angry Scorpions certified in Australia. Uh, Jekyll and Hyde. This is aged Maruga Scorpion and Chipotle barbecue style hot sauce. So this is the next one. I remember this one from the show. They said it's bar basically just crazy spicy barbecue sauce. So, really? Yeah, it's going to taste like barbecue sauce, but then be crazy spicy. Okay. So. Well, let's yeah, check it out. They say 109,000? Yeah, this is 109,000 Scoville. All right. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that's too, you fucked up. I'm going. Oh I'm, doing uh, you're gonna do I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right. I don't fucking care, dude. dude I don't fucking care. Oh, man. Balenciaga just did a fashion show at the New York Stock Exchange a couple hours ago. Uh, posting on Discord. Hell yeah. You you got uh, you got the bomb. Everyone says that's the worst. Yes, we have the bomb. And it is actually next. Uh, that's the next one up. <laughs> and I put so much. Look how much I put on this chat. Uh, oh, fuck. I got to take some off. All right. You ready? All right. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. All Dang. right. Mm. Tastes good right off the bat. <clears throat> okay. Tastes good. Now it's spicy. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. Um, all right. Next question for you, Tyler. Mm -hmm. 
Which celebrity do you think you look the most alike? Mm. <coughs> Ooh. Chat. Ooh. Don't forget to clip things that you think are funny. I want some clips from this stream. Don't forget to clip. Ooh, God. All right. Now it's, Ooh. Now it's getting spicy. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Mm -hmm. mm. I want to clip my thoughts. All right. Um, <coughs> that one was actually... Breathing doesn't help. Breathing, breathing makes, makes it, it worse. worse. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Breathing Anyways. makes it way worse. All right. Most, celebrity thing think I'm supposed to look like? Yeah. Um, so back in the day, <clears throat> I had long curly hair, like curly fries that came down and did all that. When I had that, mm -hmm. I had anywhere in public I went, mm -hmm. I like had a bar or something like that. Everybody said, oh, you look like little Dicky. <laughs> so... I'm gonna go with little Dicky with my long curly hair. Without my long curly hair, I don't know. I haven't That's really gotten funny. anybody. Chat, do you think he looks like a little Dicky? But put uh, put a uh, <laughs> put Dicky in the chat if you think he looks like a little Dicky. Uh, oh my god, this one's so much spicier than I thought. Don't be mean. Thank you so much for the throwing some love on those mini vlogs. I've been doing those every day. Okay. Yep. All right, I got a couple other questions for you. All right, that one. That's where it started burning. We got it. Yeah. Uh, what, is, what is one of your most embarrassing moments? Oh. They say you look like Dan Bilzerian. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> His anorexic brother. Yeah. <laughs> Dan Bilzerian's <laughs> anorexic brother. Um, he took all... It's like in Twins with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. I'm the Danny DeVito. You got the shit genes. Yeah, exactly. He took all the nutrients for me in the womb. Yeah. Um, what was the question? <laughs> 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 totally forgot. What is one of your most embarrassing moments? Um, I've got it because this is this is like high school nightmare fuel. Um, okay. Well, high school. It was in eighth grade. Yeah. How? Um, yeah. Played football, which why the fuck was I playing football <laughs> in the first place? So that was embarrassing enough on its own that I was even playing football. And then um, yeah, there's a pep rally with mm -hmm. the whole school and the audience and the auditorium, all that stuff. Yeah. And the football team was supposed to go across the stage, run up, and you say your name, your number, and your position. Uh -huh. And then everybody goes, Woo! <laughs> and then you run off to the other side. And you just go one by one. They're introducing the whole football team, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to say names. I don't remember anybody's names or numbers. Really. Tanner Mind, number 52, middle linebacker. Yeah. <laughs> and then he, and everybody went, wow, yeah. Jordan Fields. Number 23, running back. Wow. Yeah. And then it was my turn. Uh, and I walked across the stage, went, uh, ta, uh, 30. My number was 82. I said, ta, uh, for, uh, uh, number 13. <laughs> You're number 82. <laughs> yeah. I said, number 13. <laughs> and I didn't even say my position and I, cause I got, I panicked and just <laughs> ran away. <laughs> so, ta, ta, Tyler. Uh, number third, thir uh, and just <laughs> ran off. I got confused and ran off because I saw the big auditorium full of kids, and I just panicked. I got, I couldn't say my name, got my number wrong, and just ran away and didn't even say my position. They cut people clap. Oh, everybody clapped. The whole auditorium. <laughs> it was like a, a joke that popped. Yeah. Like the whole auditorium was just laughing and clapping and like making. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So I embarrassed myself literally on stage by myself in front of the entire school. Cool. Fuck, man. Just panic, shit my pants, <laughs> that and is, ran away. That is nightmare fuel. Yeah, that was that was the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. My most embarrassing thing is what crazy cat lady said um, is my <sighs> recent poop. So I was walking low. <laughs> the low last time you shit your pants was like four. Not reasons. the first time or the thirteenth time. The last yeah, time. The you last shit time. Your pants. Okay. okay. Yeah. So uh, actually, I'll take that back. That one's embarrassing. There was another more embarrassing time. So I was probably, uh, now you gotta listen to me talk. It's worse when you're not talking. No, it's, I'm, I would prefer it. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I was out, I was probably like 10 or 11. I mean, no, I was probably 12 or 13 actually. I was out with a bunch of friends. It was during one of the snowstorms. Remember back in the day at Crockett? Like you mm -hmm. go to Crockett, it's all snowed. Yeah. We were all playing, a, we were doing a snowball fight, right? We were doing a snowball fight, can I get that? We were doing a snowball fight. Somebody hit me. No, no, the back. Oh, my bad. I don't need the fucking pay. I don't need I thought you needed a new one. I thought you needed a new one, my bad. I panicked again. There's people watching. I can't do that. I so panicked. We were having a snowball fight. Get, better get that jewel. We were having a snowball fight. And uh, 
Somebody somebody got a snowball together and like put water on it and it yeah. turned into a rock ball. Uh -huh. Somebody hit me with that, it knocked me out. I wake up and there's like 10 people above me just laughing at me. That it's was not so embarrassing. embarrassing. You just got laid. I mean, it is embarrassing. You get, you're a kid. getting knocked out. Is yeah, you're a kid. That's embarrassing. But somebody hit you with a rock. Like you didn't do anything yourself. What's something you did to yourself? Like it's all your fault that you were in total control. Like if somebody just walks up and sucker punches you and knock you out, that's embarrassing. But yeah. they sucker punch you. What are you gonna do about it? Okay, that's true. That's true. What's okay. your like? You did it to yourself. Embarrassing thing. Okay. Um. Probably. Because I know what embarrasses me for you the most. Yeah. But you were hidden, but I don't know if we can say it on this. Do you really share everything? I, I share everything. Go ahead. Literally everything? Yeah, go ahead. Whenever you got something stuck to your dick and your mom helped you get it off? I've already told them that. That's, dude, I, I wasn't there and nobody saw it. It was just you and your mom. But that makes me so embarrassed for you. Yeah. Let me tell, let me uh. retell the story though. So chat, there was one time I was probably like nine or 10 and there was this gack stuff. So yeah, I was probably like nine or 10. And like basically you could, you remember that stuff you could like ball up, throw it against the wall, it would stick and it would slowly fall. So basically I got that stuff, I put it all over my dick and I, I think it was just my dick, not my balls. I couldn't get, I did it in the shower, I couldn't get it off my dick. So I'm hollering at my mom, my mom comes in there, she looks down, she sees my dick and she, <laughs> she says this verbatim, she goes, let me get the peanut butter. <laughs> she so, goes and gets the peanut butter and then gets It wasn't an auditorium full of people, but when you tell that story, that makes me cringe mm -hmm. and embarrassed so hard for you for that one moment, but nobody else was watching. Yeah. It was just you and your mom. So what's, what's the thing you did in front of people that embarrassed you? Um, uh, I was trying to think. I'll let this go, I promise. I know we talked no, about No, 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 you're good. I'm, I'm really trying to think. In, in front of people, like, um, I've been... I've eaten shit in front of people. Like I, oh, oh, I got a really good one. Wait, wait, wait. I got a better fight. Not literally. Not, eating. not eat shit, okay. but like. So it was the first time I was on the snare line at the first football game, ever. Mm -hmm. Like I'm on the snare line, on football game, blah blah blah. We go through the halftime show. Two minutes into the halftime show, I drop a stick. Mm -hmm. I have one stick. And I don't have another one. <laughs> I go through the okay. whole show. I'm playing one hand. Right yeah. at the very end of it, when they're like going through, like they're about to change, they're taking us off and bringing the blaze that's on. My drum instructor goes, go get your stick. And I was like, I don't want to get uh. it. I had to run out. He's like, and you have to keep your drum on. I'm running out with my drum on, like waddling out. In front out, of a stadium full of people. In front of a stadium full of people uh, and grab yeah. it. And then, yeah, that was okay. probably the this most This is where people's watching and it's a big yeah. you folk, like spotlight on you moment. That was probably the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me in front of like a bunch of people. Um, okay. All right, chat. Put, we'll come to the next question, I no, you're good. Put put a um, put a bomb in the chat if you're ready for the next sauce. Because I'm the last really... one. All right, the last four apparently are the ones that actually suck. Okay, because... so that was 107,000 Scovilles. All right, can I get a number on? Um, he had it in the chat. This is the bomb. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to scroll. How many Scovilles are in the bomb sauce? Please let me know. Uh, so this is Debom. I'm over it now, though. It doesn't hurt. Like it hurt, but it doesn't hurt anymore for some. No, reason. it's it's actually. But I'm starting like I'm starting to get a little bit of a high. Like I've my, also been drinking a lot, so maybe I'm drunk and just don't. Yeah, feel maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. So this one, so the one we just had was 107,000. This one's 135,000. Right. <laughs> we were making 2,000 jumps. Now we're making 30,000. Yeah, 30,000 jumps. Did you shake it up? I'll check it out. Okay. I noticed, I noticed, like, before you were putting, like, <laughs> half the bottle on it. Now you're doing a very delicate dab of, like, I'm going to get a very specific amount on this one. <laughs> Chad, is that good? Is that is that enough? Tell me, is that enough, Chad? Uh, you guys, then they're always going to say put more, but. Yeah. Well, I'll let them choose. I'll let them choose. What was the last mm. bottle? The last bottle was the um, 13 Angry Scorpions or something. What was it? 13, mm -hmm. yeah, 13 Angry Scorpions. Yeah. You're gonna have to hold it real close because we have the uh, wide okay. angle on. Yeah. About to have another poop story after this hot sauce. So this is the bomb. <laughs> oh shit, I wasn't listening to you earlier. I was in my own head. Yeah, this is the bomb. This is the shittiest one of the whole group. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck, all right. All right. We didn't bring enough napkins. They don't, do they have any down here? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. I'm gonna have to start using my shirt here. I mean, it's gonna get gross. Here, I got, here, I got some extras. Start tearing them in half. Tear these in half and you got it. Yeah. You're good. All right. All right. Fuck. Cheers. Mm. Mm. It doesn't taste like food. 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't like it. I don't like it. It tastes like dog shit. Oh. It's not oh incredibly god. bad yet. Oh my god. But it's good. It keeps every second, it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. Three deep in a Jeep at a strip club. That was, oh my god, that was us. All right, next question. <clears throat> what is the biggest secret that you've kept from your parents? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So I had a ton, and then I hit like 25 years old and started drinking with them a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that one's. Oh, now it hurts. Yeah. Oh. That one's. Oh. Um, yeah, that one's. I'm having to focus. All right. Most embarrassing um, moment. But then there was a time where I started getting drunk with my parents, and we'd talk, and I started telling them everything. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just. <laughs> <sighs> Ouch. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. What is, what is, what is that moment though? So now the biggest secret I have. Nope. I can't think. I can't talk. <laughs> Here, give me that shit. Give me the bomb again. I'm doing more. Uh, I can't do it. I can't talk. I can't think. I'm doing more. I'm doing a little more. Uh, I think you got the clumpy stuff. I want the clumpy stuff. Oh, fuck. Give me that clumpy shit. Oh! oh fuck. beer. I want the milk now. The milk's warm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, God. I should not have done that. Oh, fuck me. All right. The biggest secret I kept from my parents is, and Mom, I hope you're not watching, but... I had sex multiple times in the house with and without you there. Multiple times. Uh, and um, I may or may not have had sex in your bed as well. Oh, shit. Yowzers! Uh. My God! <laughs> I should not have done that. Nope, that was a bad idea. That was a real bad idea. <sighs> mm. I'm crying, but I don't want to wipe my eyes. <sighs> oh, that one sucked. Real bad. All right. What's the biggest secret you kept for your parents? <sighs> um. <laughs> Other than something uh, super depressing that I don't want to bring up publicly. Okay, don't. Because it's not funny, it's just depressing. Um, okay, I'll, I'll word it less depressing because it is the only answer I have. Uh, the only biggest secret I have from my parents Whew. is mental health stuff. That's fair. I'll say it. That's, that's the least depressing way I could say it. Ah! Uh, yeah. Okay, let's do the next one. Mental health stuff. That's, I don't tell them about it yet. Next oh, week. Oh, fuck. That hurts. Mm. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Milk works for like 1.5 seconds, and then it goes back to miserable. Okay. So it doesn't actually help. Hmm. Uh, mm. Wait. Uh, now my shirt's gonna be disgusting because I'm rubbing snot on my shirt. Uh, 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 uh. Can we right. give it a minute? A minute? You want to burn more? worse? We got more. To, we have two more to go. I was hoping like the other ones would go away eventually. <laughs> uh, it's not gonna go away. I don't think so. never gonna go away. Uh, is this forever? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, nope, not going away. All right. Next Let's one. keep going. Get your wing. All right. What is a guilty pleasure of yours? Uh, and this could be a movie, a show, an activity, or a game. Oh, I got an answer. This is an extra main green pucker butt. Heat index four. Uh oh. 
How many skull bills is this one? Dude, if this one's actually worse, then I'm out. Tyler, you're gonna beat yourself up if you don't get through this. No, I promise I won't. Ready, you're lying. 702,000? <laughs> uh, I don't know how this works, but that sounds like a lot. Six times worse than the one we just ate. Oh, <laughs> six times? <laughs> six X. Six times. Six times worse. This might be it for me, guys. I'll Atterbury. just watch you. No, you have to, dude. No, I don't. I really don't. I really don't. <laughs> Hit your jewel and let's go. Oh, fuck. If it, if what I just, if this hurts, no, <sighs> it could be six times more Scoville, but it might not hurt six times more. Yeah. Apparently the bomb's the worst. That's what they said, so that's what I'm taking into account. If this one hurts six times more, then I'm done. I'm going home. I'm out. I'm out for the day. Oh. Mm. Okay, I'm actually starting to come down off the Debom. Yeah. That's what I kind of wanted to come down a little bit before. Okay. I'm coming down. Uh, why am I burping? Make it, is it, it, it makes you burp. No, these hot peppers make you burp. Out of here, you're not answering my fucking questions. I don't hear your question. Oh. <laughs> what is a guilty pleasure of yours? It could be a movie, show, activity, or game. Uh, it's number one thing I don't tell people about, and I watch it in private, and would never, would never say a line from the show or mention. If somebody says they watch it, I would never say I watched it. Any of that. Yeah. Big Bang Theory. You like that show? I love that show, and I would never tell anybody that I actually love it. It's terrible. It's tra I get it. I get it. I like it. I think it's great. I'm part of the reason that they made a billion dollars off that TV show. My mom likes that show. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. And I would never say that to anybody, but Big Bang Theory. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's my mom's favorite show. I'm, I'm saying, dude. That's, my mom loves yeah, that show. Yeah, it's trash. I get it. I know this thing is, I know it's trash. I think it's great. All right, chat. I ran out of questions, so I'm going to need some questions. All right, this next oh, one. Shit. I got some more rapid fire. All right. All right, thicker skinny girls. Skinny. Brunette or blonde? Brunette. Beach or snow? Beach. Fuck. Snow. Fuck cold. I hate everything below 58 degrees. Okay. Uh, what is the name of the last sauce you had? Uh, uh, da Bomb. Da Bomb was the last one. Yeah. Fuck that, man. And then we're doing the mm. mean green, the extra mean green pucker butt. <sighs> One you scooped second. up a Big Bets hoodie? Let me get prepared for the next Hell one. yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Voltage. <sighs> Shiggity's in the chat for Voltage for scooping up a hoodie. I'm gonna have to get one of those. Yeah, it's it's this, Big yeah. Bets boy. Same shit. <sighs> okay. Well, okay, I will say the bomb was terrible. It sucked, but I don't know how much time has passed because I just got lost. Yeah. but. As of now, whatever you clock it, it's not. Oh, it's nothing wrong. So it only hurt for about four or five minutes. This is the last dab right here. Okay, that, that one's not bad. Okay, Mac or PC? Mac. Love or money? Love. Beard or no beard? Beard. Hair or no hair? Hair. On what? <laughs> it's either that. Hey, don't worry about it. On what? Blonde or brunette? Brunette. Spicy or sweet? That level of spicy has been fucking sweet. Normal level of spicy, spicy. Ugh. All right, chat. PC or Mac? I'm going to ask you that one. Let me ask you this one. Summer <sighs> or winter? Summer. I... I I'm a weirdo. Yeah. I don't sweat a ton, which I know means is really unhealthy because you're supposed to sweat to cool off. Yeah, you need some. Um, I don't sweat a lot. I would rather it be 100 degrees outside than 50 degrees. Not not 20 degrees, like mm -hmm. towards freezing. I'd rather it be 100 than 50. Damn. Like, I don't even want to have to wear a hoodie. I'd rather be burning up than, than wearing anything. I, Fair I, enough. Head I, or sex? Sex, yeah. Really? Yeah. I feel like sometimes it's head, but sex for the Head is part. good when it's in between, but... It's only good because you're doing it in between sex, and sex is the staple that makes it good. Flying or driving? Oh, flying. So you'd rather fly more frequently than you drive? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I'd take a helicopter everywhere if I could, that'd be great. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, it would be nice. <laughs> would you rather have hands for feet or feet for hands? Hands for feet. Oh, hands for feet. Or feet for hands. Yeah, no, because I, I want the dexterity in my hands, so yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. Okay. Would you rather... Would you rather fight? You gotta answer some of these too. No, fuck you. All right, all I'm right, one of the next right. sauce. Next all sauce. Right. Extra meat. Gotta green. pour it up. I'm ready to go. Hands for feet for sure. Are you ready? All right. Oh my! I gotta change shirts immediately after this because I keep rubbing my nose off on my sleeve. All right, cheers. And we'll do an arm stick. Oh, if this hurts six times more. It's Adder, six come six on, just more. get it over with. I'm being a pussy. All right, cheers. Mm. Oh. Mm. It doesn't burn yet, but it has that battery acid twang to it. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's going to be bad here in a few seconds. Mm. You saying battery acid has been cracking the shit out of me. You know that like, taste like battery acid. That vinegar, just sharp vinegar burn. That's just, oh. <sighs> uh. It's not worse yet. Okay, let me go through my questions. I don't have any more. Uh, um, um, would you rather be bald or have really long hair? Really long hair. Now, if I actually do start working out yeah. and get some, put some weight on and get some muscle, then bald. But scrawny me, long hair. That's fair. Yeah, you can't be skinny with bald. People are gonna be like, "Are you okay?" That's true. Are you okay? Are you sick? Yeah, I don't want that. Would you so. rather have uh, just a mustache or just uh, one eyebrow? Dude, mustache. Like, I'm not anti, but you don't have eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, okay, I didn't add that into the equation. Like if the only bit of hair you had on your face was just a no mustache, eyelashes, no eyebrows, or just, just one mustache. eyebrow, mustache. <laughs> one eyebrow is way dumber. Why, like why do you only have one? No, 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 no. I don't want. I don't want that conversation. I'd rather. Oh, I got alopecia. Move on. You know. Okay. One right. eyebrow is like so. You have one. You don't have. The, I don't want that right. conversation. Would you rather have one arm or one leg? One arm. Would you rather have no thumbs or whatever no you say is going to lose to no thumbs? I no want fingers. Thumb. thumb. I, you just want a thumb now? A thumb by itself. You could still use your nubs to do stuff. I'd say keep the thumbs. Okay, fair. Uh, that one, I get the show because that one. The bomb is dumb. That one yeah. might be hotter, but it, it's not as. You don't suffer as much for some yeah, reason. Yeah, seriously. That one is. That one's manageable. Would you rather have to... Okay, if you can mm. only drink a certain liquid, would you rather only drink milk or Mountain Dew? Ooh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> if it gets really hot outside and you're like jogging in the summer or something and you're at the pool during the summer and you yeah. have to drink milk, that would <laughs> suck. But if I'm at dinner and having a nice dinner and I have to drink Mountain Dew... Uh, Mountain Dew. Milk. <laughs> I don't want to, but but milk is just so like you would you would throw up with milk at certain points. Like you just, uh, yeah. Voltage. I have bought the dip. Mountain Dew is not natural. I know milk for sure. Uh, Let me ask you this: If you had to either only only shower or only take a bath every day, which one would you choose? Oh, shower. I love showers. Showers. Okay. I don't like baths. I haven't taken a bath in like ten years. Really? Yeah. So you smell like shit right now. Showers don't get you clean. <laughs> so when's the last time you took a bath? Ten years ago? I I don't remember. So you smell like so shit long. right now. Why? Because you haven't bathed. So I'm kidding. You work I'm, in I'm kidding. It's a figure of speech. Uh. Oh, you wait, wait, wait. So I smell like shit because I haven't sat in a tub. Yeah. Like everything that's coming off me and soaked in it for yeah. a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Would you rather have? Oh, fuck. That one wasn't as bad. That one wasn't nearly as bad. as bad. That one wasn't near as bad. It has six times the Scoville units, but yeah. six times less pain. All right, well, let's get the next. You're gonna be a, you're gonna talk this shit. Let's yeah. get the last one. And we gotta do the. Oh, I gotta thing. change shirts. You're gonna have to. And we uh, we ran it. out of napkins, and I'm rubbing so much snot all over my sleeves. All right, get in there. It's disgusting. And we gotta we gotta do the arm thing on this one. And you gotta put a good dollop for this one. All right, this is the last one. This is the last oh. dab. Apollo. Uh, how many Scovilles is this one? A bazillion. All right, and I'll dose you up. No, fuck you. you I'm not doing that. That's good. That's good. You're going to well, put more? I'm Go gonna, ahead. No, I'm, I don't want to bite that weird, awkward part of the wing. I want to bite okay, it right okay. here. There you go. All right. All right, let's do the arms. 
All right. Fuck. All right. And then after this, you have to ask me a question. Oh, ready? Ah. Battery acid. Straight yeah. up. Battery acid. Mm. Oh. <coughs> All I got was skin and sauce. I didn't get any chicken. Uh. <laughs> you can eat more of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you just eat more of it. Yeah. <sighs> Oh my god. Oh Alright, you gotta ask me questions. Yeah. It's your turn. Oh, fuck, I'm so, I didn't prepare for this at all. Ask anything. If you could only do one for the rest of your life, all farts were burps or all burps were farts? <laughs> <laughs> all farts were burps. Like you could only, it could only come out of one for the rest of your life. You would never you would never, you wouldn't split them up anymore. Right. But if it's a fart, it comes out of your mouth as a fart. If it's a burp, it comes out. Of, but now you're farting way more because every burp is a fart. Yeah. I'm going to have to go with farting because you can at least hide it a little bit better. Okay. What about you? Get it off my tongue. <laughs> yeah, I don't want farts coming out of my mouth. Yeah, that's the easy one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you had to choose where... Uh, actually, let me ask this a weird way. Still not as bad as the bomb. It's not. It sucks, but it's not as bad. Mm. Ooh, but them all building up together hurts really bad. Right. If you knew that the only way that you could eat two meal no, 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 let me ask this a different way. It's, I can't even think. Breathing makes it worse. Okay. Oh my God! Uh, chat, ask a question, chat. Yeah, I, we I can't need help. think. We need help. We can't think. I can't think. Uh, even if you just Google random questions, that would be yeah. better. Uh, Make sure the bomb was just so. Oh my God! No way, dude. Uh, the bomb was the worst for sure. Dude, I can't. I'm glad I made it through all of them, though. Hey, high five, bro. I was ready to quit after the bomb. Cats or dogs? Oh, dogs. Uh, I like to cuddle too much to have a cat. And I know cats can do it, but I want it on demand. Yeah. Uh, it's not going away. Would you rather piss out of your ass or shit out of your dick? <laughs> piss out of my ass. <laughs> Easy. If you're if you were stuck in purgatory. <laughs> Fuck! Uh, it won't go away. <sighs> I keep waiting for it to fade and it won't. If you were stuck in purgatory, would you want to be alone with monsters that will attack you or they see what? Wait, what? <laughs> I tried to laugh out of my nose and so much snot <laughs> came out. If you were stuck in purgatory, would you want to be alone or with monsters that will attack you if they see you? But you would at least still have company. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to swallow my spit. Uh, I'd say monsters. Okay, why? Oh. Because if you're alone, then the monster becomes your own mind, man. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Oh, fuck. Go away. Fucking go away. Okay. Okay. Go, go, go away. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Would you rather be... Oh. Uh, we, okay. Oh. Uh. Ah, uh, the. Uh, uh, would you rather be? Okay. Would you rather be punched in the stomach every morning, or kicked in the chest? Punched. It yeah. Depends by who, but yeah, punched. Okay. Dodge or Chevy? Chevy. Dodgers are trash. <laughs> Car or truck? Uh, fucking truck. Uh, I like the height. Okay. All right, if you had to, would you rather eat cat food or dog food? 
Mm. I got to follow up for this one too. I would assume dog food. I feel like cat food's more fishy and like sharp, gross smelling. All right. I would assume dog food. It'd Would, be more savory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would you rather eat... God you, damn, it won't go away. I know. Would you rather eat cat meat or dog meat? I know a lot more fat dogs than a new fat cat. When I say dog meat, there might be more fat and flavorful. Okay. If... If... You were stranded on an island... You, you haven't answered any of these, but okay. Yes, fuck you. If you were stranded on an island and you had to eat a part of your body, what part of your body would you eat and why? If I was anybody else, I'm gonna keep rubbing on my sleeve and it's gonna be disgusting. But You're good. If I was anybody else, I'd say your ass. Same reason for the dog, you know, fatty. But I don't have an ass, so I can't say that. So what part of your body would you eat? Would you chop your dick off? No, I'd eat everything else besides that. What would you, okay, where would you start? Your thighs? Thigh? Your thigh? Thighs? So you would start with your thigh and, and immobilize yourself. Oh, I wasn't thinking about surviving afterwards. What, you're just gonna eat a thigh and be done? I was thinking about flavor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Got to appreciate the follow. Uh, ow, it won't go away. God it, damn. No, it, really, it literally won't. Fuck. It literally will not go away. All right, on a one to 10, how hot was that one? I was, I mean, 10, 11, 12, whatever number you want to get. That was a 10. Do you want to do one more? We got one more Fuck. Week. No. No, I'm done. Okay. I made it through. I'm out. <sighs> it's a new account. Only way I can get the username without numbers. Fair enough. Fair enough. Here. <sighs> you can do whatever you want, though. If you want to get I'm, I'm lightheaded. I don't know if it's from the hyperventilation. We're breathing a lot. Yeah. All right, chat. I'm going to let you pick which sauce I have to do again. Give me those hot ones again. <sighs> Pick which one. Uh, Do you want the bomb, three angry scorpions, the pucker butt, or the Apollo last down? I will give you an. So the bomb hurts the most, but it hurts for two minutes. The last one hurts for ten minutes. Okay. But it doesn't hurt as bad. So do you want? How long it causes pain, or do you want immediate sharp pain? All of them said the bomb. I'm going for it. Okay. That one goes away after a little bit, though. Oh, shit. I'm already fucking oh, oh, I'm shaking. Oh, my shoulder just started like... Da, 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 da. Combine both? All right. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't want you to because I have to hang out with you for a little bit. <laughs> and you're not going to be able to talk. You're just going to be... All right. All right, here we go. I'm shaking. Three. Two. We should do some jackass things where I get to slap the shit out of you uh, after you eat it. We can't do any physical violence on oh, Twitch. Oh, you can on Twitch? Yeah. On YouTube, maybe. I don't know anything about Twitch. I didn't know. Bro, that was stupid as shit. Uh, so are you going to end it now? Because you're not going to be able to talk for 30 minutes. <gasps> <sighs> <sighs> Hi, I'm Lunar. Welcome to Smack Ass. <sighs> Mine's finally going away. I'm starting to feel like a person again. Really? Yeah, right when you doubled down is when you would have started feeling like a person again. That was a bad idea. Actually, it wasn't near as bad as you thought. All right, would you rather never be stuck in traffic again or never pay for parking? Dude, I'll pay in parking if me getting there means I don't have to sit in traffic. <laughs> Traffic. That's fair. Uh, Would you rather have to bike everywhere or scooter everywhere? Tyler's I'm, over here shaking. I'm shivering, dude. You're shaking. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm holding it back now. <laughs> uh, but the AC's blowing on me. It's making me chilly. Hey, uh. Walk around. Walk around. Uh. Walk around. Uh. <sighs> 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 I'd rather bike. I'm not a bitch. Uh, I've, I've never been a fucking bitch. You'd rather bike than scooter? Yeah. Oh. Would you rather have to wake up every morning and get slapped in the face or poked in the eyes? Slapped in the face? Don't touch my eyeballs. Okay. Don't touch my eyeballs. Would you rather get slapped in the face or punched in the stomach? 
still think slapped in the face. Yeah, but probably me too. Uh, I need to change my shirt, so I said that 17 times. I'm sorry. No, say it again. I don't think we heard it. It's gross. I feel disgusting. I don't think we heard it. It's the mental, the mental fuck up of now I know I'm in a disgusting shirt. Yeah, I really fucked up doing both of those. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that. But we don't have any more napkins, so I don't really yep. have a choice. I either just knock down my face or use my sleeve. So, yeah. Ah. 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 All right. All right, chat. I'm back to normal. How do you feel? Terrible. Oh, it's hit, terrible. It, I was good, and then it all came back. Yeah. Yeah. All right, chat. <sighs> I'm going to stay on live until this chills out. But it won't be... Alright, it's your turn. Okay. Shig, shiggity, wig, wiggity, biggity, bit there. Thanks so much for the chat. Shiggy to the chat. CJ, you can now ask me some questions. I'm still shaking. Okay. Alright. Shiggy in chat. Shiggy's in chat for CJ. Thanks so much for the sub. I love you, homie. Thanks so much. I love you, dog. Appreciate that. Everybody put a shiggy in the chat. Ask a question. Um, you answered all the ones I'm looking at that I like. Uh, get that spit out of my mouth. 23 months, man. I love you. You answered all these. I didn't. Did. I asked the majority of us. Well, the ones you didn't answer were like the heavy ones. I don't know. Do you want to go back into that stuff? Go to the heavy. All right. <clears throat> If you could give yourself a piece of advice as a child, what would it be? Slow down. You don't need to do everything as fast as you can. <laughs> if you could go back to you as a child and give yourself a single piece of advice, what would it be? Slow down. Oh, I thought you were telling me to slow. That's why I read slower. No. <laughs> we could, you, that was way over my head. I totally thought you were saying... <laughs> Okay. For me to slow down reading, and you meant no, you slow down as a person. All right, I fucked that one up. I was so now we can add that to the list of most embarrassing things I've ever done, is me doing that, me reading slower. All right. All right. You want to go into the future instead of the past. Favorite hobby, you answered that. What choice, what one single choice that you made in the past? Would you go back and change? Um, oh wait, now my, now this spice is gone. I'm thinking more clearly. I can ask other questions. Yeah. All right, I'm ready to go. Answer that one, and then okay. I'm ready to go. I ask it one more time. If you could change one single specific choice you made in the past that you could change, what would it be? It would be to not take college as seriously, but take the things I really wanted to do more serious, like play music, document my life. You don't have to make an A in music to study it on your own and just get better at it. Yeah, yeah I would have moved Well, they would probably correlate, but yeah. Uh, all right. Okay, next question. So, if we can ask serious stuff. It just pops in my head. The job you have now, I assume you're rewarded financially and you that can bring you a lot of joy and happiness. Yeah. And if your bosses or anybody's listening, I'm not going to ask anything specific about your work. Of course. get you in trouble. But... <clears throat> Being good at your job doesn't mean, you like, like, on, you a like scale, on a scale of one to ten, how gratifying is your job personally? But that can also include pay. Like, that can be gratifying, too. So that including in there. Uh -huh. do, you, do you genuinely like that you're doing what you're doing? The, the initial number that came to my head was an eight. Okay. Just because... You started from growing up in a single household making 40000 a year. Your mom making 40000 a year, like, around that. Yeah. And then now you're making double, triple that. Yeah. Does that, like, does that bring you enough satisfaction to want to keep doing it or no? Um, I will say over time, once you start making more money, the job is more rewarding and you feel, you feel like you base more of your own success off your job. Mm -hmm. And so like, I do wake up every day and check the numbers to see how much I've made. Um, but does I'm, it bring you pride to do what you do? I, it does bring me pride to be good at my job because yeah. I'm good at sales. Now, that's just sales in general. Uh, not my job in general. Dude, I feel great right now. I love it. Uh, uh. But I will say, 
I would much rather just vlog and stream and do st stuff like that because I get- Even a, if it paid less? Even if it paid less because I get a lot more out of it personally doing this stuff. But I will say being good at sales and doing my job, I do like it. Because I do get I do get recognition from a lot of people, which is cool. Yeah, and you're not sitting there bummed out like, oh, this is what I'm doing. You don't have those. Like, yeah, you're yeah. Actually doing your, okay. I'm cool. not doing a job I hate because when I wake up, I'm like, I know I'm good at it. And number two, I don't want to sound arrogant, but it's not that hard. I know my product. For you, it's not hard. Dude, I could never do what you do. Like, I, I could yeah. dude, I would be last every time. I would be the butt of the joke. I, I couldn't step into that world. So, like, yeah. it's easy for you. Yeah. yeah. No, uh -huh. you're... We're really good friends. I've never asked you about that before. If you actually had pride in what you do, yeah. I, I actually do. I, okay. Surprisingly, two years ago I wouldn't have. Now I actually do. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> I don't know if Cass is watching. Can I ask relationship questions? Yes, please go ahead. All right. So you mentioned before your aversion to getting married. Has that ever pop? Is that still continue to pop in your mind? Do you ever think about it or no? I actually do now. You do. You have started actually thinking about. I actually it, do like, think about it a lot more. I want to actually go get. Cass is ring size. I want to see what size ring she is. You want to do it? I do want to do it. Okay. Does I she wanna... know? Yeah, Cass knows I want to marry her. Okay. The only only setback right now is yeah. I just want to make it awesome when I propose. I don't yeah. want it to be like, all right, baby. I know. Here's I'm... your Walmart ring with the little thing you have to have a micro. Well, yeah, a I want her to at least have a see. carrot. I want it to be what she wants. I want it to fit perfect. You want I... everything to go perfect. I want it to be in the place that she wants it. You know what I mean? I want to be in yeah. a different country. So okay, next next step after marriage, kids? Are you still have a, that aversion to that? I'm actually more. I thought Dude, about this, kids. All these changes that you just said just now has been like a month. Yeah, I know. Oh, like so, then the past month, your idea of all of that has changed. It has. Okay, it really has. Reason being is I've been I've been thinking about the meaning of life and the meaning of <laughs> what it. Look, I, I I know you're serious and I don't want to undermine. <laughs> He's laughing at me, Chad. <laughs> that sounds so cheesy and like. But yeah, it's seriously. But I though. get it. I get it. I get it. But like, I talk to my grandma and how like grateful she is just to hear my voice. And like, uh, think about when you get old. You don't think about like what did you do, what did you accomplish. You think you think about like how big was your family, how many people did you impact, and that no, necessarily no, no. doesn't. I think matter. I don't. I don't even think it's that. If I could just disagree with you, I don't think it's that. I think when you get older and mortality becomes more and more present on your mind. Yeah. Um, the the number on the W two that you just turned in, or the the house you had, or the backyard you had, all that stuff, you realize none of like I think yeah. that becomes a lesson. All that shit, like the car you drove, becomes less and less important. And you're like, what what actually matters to me? What sticks? Yeah. What emotionally sticks to my soul? Yeah. And uh, it's having a kid and a that, the car, the all that stuff, you find out how frivolous it is, and yeah. and that that means more. So it's it's not that. Like, what's the meaning of life and all that? It's just what becomes more important the closer you get to, you know, like, I got, like, two years left. Yeah. What means the most to me? Whenever you're that close to that, it means more. Well, so, I, and I'm also thinking, like, once I'm old and in my deathbed, and once Cass dies and it's just me, like, my friends oh, are going to so be... Oh, so she's going to die first? I don't know. I'm just being hypothetical. <laughs> say it's yeah. me, say it's her, but if it's just, like, if it's me and her, I hope we go out at the same time, you know, that'd be great. But if it's just me, all my mm. friends will be old, and it's like, I don't have anything to look forward to. Like, I don't have anybody to look after it, like... You don't have your daughter's or son's wedding yeah. going for you. I mean, that stuff, yeah. Have you ever, ever had a realization that changed your life? Red Smacker, the last time I went to jail, it was honestly a huge life changer for me. And it was when I got a, uh, so I got a possession charge. And then, wait a minute. I went to jail three times. Or I went to jail twice. MIC, 16. Possession charge when I was 19. DUI when I was 21. The DUI when I was 21 Changed my perspective because I was a, a, a little bit older, but also I uh, I actually had to, my grandparents didn't help me out, my mom didn't help me pay for any of my lawyers and shit like that, and it was the first time that I've been like, once I get in here, it's like it's really just me, man. It's really just me. Yeah. So the last time I went to jail was a huge shock and be like, dude, you got to get your life together. You make zero dollars a year. You don't have any money. You're yeah. getting arrested. You're getting fucked up. Like, what are you doing? You yeah. don't have a degree or anything to like be able to look forward in the future to be able to do that. Like, yeah. You're like, yeah. My my probation. T the time I spent on probation was was like, oh, like it's not just my parents taking. Like, this is this is real life stuff. This is gonna stick on my record in Texas 
forever. Yeah. Like now I'm making decisions that are going to last the rest of my life. Oh shit. All right. That, yeah. that was my thing also. No, a, a bad thing happened that was going to last the rest of my life. But it made, what it made me realize is I could also make decisions that would be positive for the rest of my life. I never thought that a good thing I did would last, like would have benefits for the rest of my life. Like mm -hmm. if I did, I thought only negative things would last the rest of my life. Once I realized good things could also last the rest of my life. It could make me feel better for the rest of my life. I yeah. stopped thinking everything was like a Advil to where like, yeah, it helps your headache for 30 minutes. It could, yeah. but it, it's done in 30 minutes and you gotta take another one. Mm -hmm. I stopped thinking that and I started realizing that <clears throat> decisions you make now can last forever. So that, that mm -hmm. was a huge realization for me too. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. The one thing that switched my mindset when it came to being an adult is, is it's just decision making. Ugh. So you have to get to a point in your life where you stop making decisions off of fear, scarcity, and lack. Because if you're always like, oh, I don't have enough, I need to do this, I don't even, like, instead of going about it that way, going about it of, well, I could achieve so much if I did this. Because me and Cass were just talking about this yesterday. Like, we want to we buy a house, right? So instead of thinking about, there's two ways to think about money. How do I limit myself and how much I spend and save more? Or how do I generate more income? Yeah. I want to generate more income, straight out. I just want to make more money. I want to live the same way I'm living now. I want to make more money. Don't want to live to it. I don't want to go to a podunk town. I mean, and I save. will and save. I could, but yeah. I'd rather live the same life I'm living, but learn how to generate more. Because the thing is, if you chase money, it runs. Yeah. So you got to learn how to generate money. You got to learn how yeah. to make it. Yeah. All right. Some lighter questions would be good too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, having your own family, little family is seriously one of the best feelings and accomplishments. Crazy cat lady. I can only imagine. And you have yeah. a beautiful family. Shout out to you, your yeah. husband. Congratulations your to you on that. That's, yeah. that's amazing. I, I'm very much looking forward to it in the future. Yeah. Um, we'll chat. I feel like this is a solid stream. We're gonna clean up. the The pain has subsided. Yeah, I'm, I'm turning not, into a human again. I'm not burning as much as I was. Um, wow. Um, put one word in the chat of how you guys felt during the stream, or, or what you enjoyed. Put one word in the chat of how you guys felt during the stream, chat. That was that was a lot. And be real with you. That was a lot spicier than I thought. It, it was seventy percent. Oh, this is bullshit. It doesn't matter. Then the last thirty percent was. I bad. think that's why they do it. Because the first bad. first five or six were like chilling, dude. No, the first seven weren't no were it wasn't. Yeah, it was really good. just the last three. Yeah. The bomb and <sighs> sexy. There yeah. we go. I'm not doing it again. No, I would never. But I'm do glad it again. I did it once. But keep those sauces. Mm. Put them in the fridge just in case one day we get an itching. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. well, I honestly kind of like the the head high. Like it's a little like I'm a little light headed. Entertainment. I laugh. It's good for the soul. Hell yeah, crazy cat lady. Well, chat, I appreciate all the subs. I believe we had um, Evoke subs. Uh, I want to say uh, Muckbank mm -hmm. subs. Uh, I want to say, who else subbed? I don't know who else subbed. There was, I thought we had, I can't remember. But I love you guys so much. Thanks for all the follows. Gato, I appreciate you making a new account following. I love you guys, man. Until next time, you can shig shigity wig wiggity big biggity bet that. It was good to have you guys out, and I'll let Tyler give us a closing word. <laughs> Uh, I apologize that I'm a noob to this and I have no idea what I'm doing. So thank you for hanging in there with me. That's all I got. Peace, guys.